Uh, the work on Ann's Lane progresses with pavement based costs laid on uh, Saturday of this past week. Mm -hmm. No further excavation work, uh, just maintenance work, will occur on the street until spring uh, 2019 when finished pavement will be placed. Good. Uh, they're, they're, of course, they'll be raising structures and things of that nature when they go into place the final pavement so yeah. that everything is nice and level. Uh, for those wishing to make preparations for the Hampton Christmas Parade, the parade is scheduled for Saturday, December 1st. Work is scheduled to begin this week on replacing the sewer line on Tide Mill Road from the wastewater treatment plant to the cell tower entrance. Please expect the rerouting of traffic at the transfer station and Tide Mill Road during this construction period. We've already been in touch with all the residents in that area that are affected. For those working on zoning petition articles, they may be filed with the Board of Selectmen starting November 12th through December 12th. And uh, for those of you who have had to suffer through the holdups of traffic on Route 101 for the bridge construction, it was completed today and the traffic lights were taken down <laughs> and all the cones and other material are gone. Okay. So it's, it's no longer a delay for your transition to whatever place you're going to. That's we've, it, we've been saved. Here. Sort of we've been saved, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Town Manager Wells. Any questions for the Town Manager, Mary Louise? Uh, I have two quick questions. Um, joint operation plan with the state. Now, to the best of my recollection, we have not had one since 2015, or do we have a current one? We have not had one for a little over a year. A little over, oh, so it was, it's, it went a little long. It's running on, running on pretty close to two years now. Are we going yeah. to be sitting down and discussing that? It, will that be part of our meeting on November 1st? or? I can't tell you. That's up to the board. Okay. We should have, uh, perhaps we should put that on uh, for a future uh, agenda because I think we should have a plan with the state as to what's going on. And... Um, are we going to have an actual agenda for the November 1st meeting with the state? With I the believe state town council is preparing one. Excellent. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Rick, do you have anything for the town no. manager? Thank you. Yeah, just, and if I'm, if I'm incorrect on anything, correct me, please. I mean, it was brought up about the 101 sewer pipe going under for the, the cornerstone and stuff. Mm -hmm. yes. We discovered that that was illegally put in, right, or put in improperly. Well, it actually it's both. Okay. Um, the line that's there or has been used all this time was put in a drain line, a concrete drain yeah. line the state normally puts underneath yes. their highways. Yeah. Um, there's a state law that says you can't have water within 10 feet of a sewer line. Right. The water was put on top of this sewer line <laughs> inches away. And it appears at some point that some of those pipes had actually collapsed, so they were side by side. So they've now pulled all that out. The water has been rerouted to a new location to eliminate that problem. Uh, and uh, we've not he heard any problems with the, the water line that was there because the sewer line was in the same manhole or the same pipe. Yeah. Uh, they're currently a new line. They've cleaned the existing line. They pulled all the piping out, cleaned it. Um, we, they have inserted a new sleeve within the sleeve, and they are putting the piping in, and they will fill that with grout so there's no distance. Mm -hmm. The pipe can't move. It can't fluctuate yeah. or flutter, so it won't break. And it was, it was through your work and the assistant town manager in the, in the town council that the town is not paying for that, right? That is correct. Oh, that all, it's all being done by, li and it, at first they wanted us to pay, right? They wanted us to take responsibility. They wanted us to pay for all the new piping. They wanted us mm -hmm. to pay for excavation of Route 101. They wanted us to pay for everything at one point in time. And the town's answer was, no, this is all private property. Right. So, I mean, it was, it was through the, the efforts of you guys here at Town Hall that, that we got that done and got it corrected and got it without us paying for it. That would have been another $2 million probably by the time we finished. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Oh, and one on your number three for the marsh pipes. That is for the installation of the permanent marsh pipes we just approved at the special town well, Actually, this, this is the portion that runs from the wastewater treatment plant to the entrance of the cell tower. Okay. Where those marsh, new marsh pipes, when they're put in, will, will terminate 
we, we have to replace that because we currently have a 30 inch or 28 inch pipe running down Tide Mill Road, I believe it is, and it's going to take a 36 inch pipe running down Tide Mill Road to take all the sewage right. that will be fed to it from the various locations. Yeah. So that portion needs to be replaced now before we can do the portion under 101 or next to 101. And do we have all the permits we need from DOT? We have all the permits we need. We just don't have a permit to excavate. That's the one that's been held up for a while. They have, they have ordered that uh, starting November 15th, we must cease work within the state right away uh -huh. and cannot resume until April 15th of next year, <laughs> which changes the sequence of construction. If that We have an appeal in for that, so right. hopefully the appeal will be granted. If it's not granted, then instead of finishing by early May before the beach opens, we will finish in early October so we'll after the beach closes. Whole season. Uh, well, on a, on a, a very old pipe that could at any time go and cause us severe problems, yes. Well, hopefully they'll listen to our appeal. Well, we have our fingers crossed that everything works okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Town Manager. Did okay. you have Rick? No, nope. Rick was all set, he said. No, I mean, well, I just, because I... She I, asked I, if I wanted any to comment. I said no. Okay. I just didn't want you left out. I, I, I do have one out. more quick one uh, yes. on Cornerstone. I sat as a selectman representative on the planning board, on the Conservation Ouch. Commission, when Cornerstone was first coming up. They knew perfectly well oh, at that time, and that would have been like 2015. It was a long time ago. Yes, and they, they had everything laid out specifically for them at that time. But that's okay. Like Jim pointed out, town management and assistant Gee, town management and town risk. council made through it, so the town's not at risk or anything. So we're I, good, and we are moving forward. It makes you wonder. 